Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to continue on with this kind of Newcastle Northumberland series of beers that I've been doing for you and we're going to go to a little village called Newburn just to the west of Newcastle and of course this village is home to Box Social Brewing and we're going to have a taste of their India Brown Ale tonight and this is actually one of their fairly new beers. It was only released a few months ago and if you've watched my channel for any length of time you will know that I do have quite a fondness of brown beers ever since I tried Brooklyn Brown you know I've just really enjoyed this beer style so it's always cool to see the diversity within that style and it's cool as well to try different beers from these smaller craft breweries in England because we really don't find them in Scotland so I really enjoy these kind of lesser known English craft breweries and reviewing their beer for you. So for this one as well I have to give a shout out to the guys at Mm and Glug which is a really nice kind of gourmet food and beer shop in the Granger Market in Newcastle very close to the central station in fact so do be sure to check them out they're very nice people there and they helped me pick out this kind of small series of north of england beers that i've been reviewing for you they've got local things they've got germans they've got belgians some american stuff and some other english beers as well so do be sure to check them out the facebook link is in the description below but anyway as is usual with my beer reviews then i'll tell you a little bit about the brewery if you do want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward all the usual websites are in the description below that's the brewery website the link to my future reviews that i'll do from box social brewing and there's all the usual social media there as well facebook twitter and on tap so please support me on there your support would be much appreciated and if you do want to see more beer reviews just subscribe to the channel and don't be scared to recommend some beers for me to try especially those of you living in England because it's quite difficult like I say to get a hold of some of the more obscure English craft breweries but anyway to tell you about Box Social Brewing so Box Social Brewing are a microbrewery based in Newburn which is a small village near Newcastle in England it's just a, maybe about 20 minutes or so to the west of the city but the brewery was founded by Ross Holland and his dad Steve and Ross actually got into brewing during a trip to Paris where he found a little brew pub and he really loved the fact that you could watch the whole process of brewing beer while actually drinking in-house and so he wanted to replicate that for himself but the brewery is actually named after the box socials from Victorian times and essentially this concept came out of the fact that middle class people had very few opportunities to socialise and meet new people outside of their work. So a solution soon emerged where people would hold events such as parties and things like that in somebody's house, essentially a safe environment and these people became known as the box socials and the brewery say that they're taking the same concept to allow people to kind of connect over craft beer and hence the name box social brewing so they've got a small six barrel brewing plant which they say allows them to experiment a lot with different recipes and they also have an on-site tasting room where you can buy the beers in bottle and they also offer brewery tours on the weekends as well and apparently if you go there you can try a lot of their experimental brews as well because they're such a kind of small operation they do produce quite a variety of different beers so it's always worth checking out and they do have a mobile bar that you can rent out as well and they'll supply the staff so they've got quite a few cool things going on at the brewery it didn't say on the website exactly when they were founded but I would guess it's maybe only two or three years they've been in existence they seem like quite a small operation but I've been told by the guys at Glug that they are a very very good brewery so I'm quite looking forward to trying this one they do have a, fair, a fairly extensive range of beers as well just to list those for you their core range includes Gentleman's Nectar this guy here the India Brown Ale Cream Ale Centennial Mild Bad Medicine Forbidden Fruit um, Kaffir Lime Ale, Sky and Thunder, Rhubarb Tart, Sticky Break and also Christmas in Cali. So they do have quite a good range of beers for you to try there. But let's get on to the tasting of this one itself. So this one is a 5.6% brown ale. Didn't actually tell you on the website what kind of malts and hops and things they use. It's always good for people like me who review the beer. But there you can see the nice artwork on this one. I'll just bring it up to the camera and let you see. It's quite, it's got, it's got that kind of old guy with the monocle in there. It always reminds me of that guy who used to present the sky at night, but it says at the back, in Victorian Britain, people had very few acceptable ways to socialise and meet new people. A solution immersed of box socials held at various people's houses where they could mix in a risk-free environment. Allergens and bold colour ingredients and all of this on the back, it tells you, best before the 1st of March 2016. So I'm reviewing this beer for you in December, but you'll see it sometime I think in February. So I hope you guys enjoy this review. Plain bottle cap on this one. So without further ado, let's get it open and get on with the tasting then. You can see nice smoky opening there. You can smell some of the chocolate actually. But if you go and read a few articles about the brewery, it tells you that the uh, the, the main guy Ross is actually a, very, a big kind of hophead if you like and he really likes this beer because it combines the big malty character that you get from some of the imperial stouts and stuff like that with the nice hoppy things that you get from IPAs so this is why he wanted to produce this beer but as you can see it's poured a very dark 
kind of rosewoody colour. I'm not sure how well you can see it on the camera, but there is a good bit of a ruby edge to this one. It's a very dark rosewoody chestnut colour. There's a half finger of a frothy beige tan head. There's a few bigger bubbles in there, but it looks very nice. Some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass and quite a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of the head there. But overall, a very, very nice looking beer. So let's give it a smell and see how we get on. This is quite interesting. It's quite a mild aroma, actually. I'm getting a little bit of bready character. And you can pick up some of the fruits, but I think it really needs a good sugar up to kind of get all the different notes out of this one. Oh yeah, no, that makes a whole host of difference to it. So in this one, you're getting a little bit of a bready malt base, like I was saying. There's a bit of a roasted malt character coming out there, some sweet caramel. A little bit of chocolate as well. The chocolate's quite interesting. The chocolate and caramel are mixing together quite nicely in this. There's a good nutty and uh, and kind of woody character coming out as well. A little bit of earthy hop, but there's also some kind of citrusy and maybe tropical or um, slightly kind of dark tropical notes or some red fruity esters in this beer. It's quite hard to distinguish actually because everything in the aroma is blending together quite well. But it's got a nice earthy chocolatey and caramel aroma to this that's what's really underpinning this beer some nutty and earthy character in there as well but a good kind of sweet fruitiness coming out there some citrusy elements some grassy hop as well a little bit floral but also some red fruity esters and a bit of tropical fruit so we'll dive into this beer and see how we get on so this is the india brown ale from box social brewing company in uh, in newburn near newcastle in the north of england slanja Now that's quite interesting. It really comes across as more of a malty and bready beer. But as I always say, just before you dive into the uh, to the beer, sugar or think too much about dissecting the flavour. Sugar it around your palate and let the whole mouth adjust to the flavour going on here. Yeah. So there's a nice bready malt base to this one. It just blankets the middle of your palate. And on top of that, there's a bit of sweet caramel. And some. I think there's a bit of a chocolatey flavour in there as well. But that's very mild. It's more a kind of bready and kind of cereal flavour that you're getting out of the malt base in this one. Yeah. This is quite interesting. It, I was picking up just a little bit of citrusy and fruity hop in this, but you don't really get that in the flavour at all. I was expecting a sort of American West Coast brownie where you had the nice malt base, then you had quite a bit of tropical fruit and citrusy character coming out of this. You don't get that with this beer at all. Yeah, the, the hop character in this one is very smooth, and the back corners of the palate you've got a nice smooth earthiness and as you come further forward it gets a little bit floral but then it comes very smooth and grassy around the front curve of the tongue there. Probably English hops are in this one, it could be a little bit of German noble hop in there as well. But there is a bit of a red fruity ester to this one, it's quite a candied fruit, very very smooth. Just behind the front curve of the tongue you'll feel a little oily bubble and you're getting just a very light kind of candied red fruit ester in there. It's almost like these Haribo heart sweets that you get from the Starmix from the Starmix packets and you can just feel a little bit of that behind the very front curve of your tongue there. But the flavours in this one blend together very well. It's not what I was expecting but it is a very nice and quite sensible brown ale. This one is actually very smooth too. It's almost as if this beer could have been poured straight off the cask and I think that's where you're going to get the most flavour out of this beer if you have it fresh and on cask. It's, it's definitely a good beer for cask conditioning rather than tap conditioning, I would say. Yeah, definitely a good cat would definitely make a good cask ale this one, but it's very nice. Not what I was expecting right enough when it said India Brown Ale. But again, it's very good. It's definitely, if it's an India brown ale, it's definitely an English one. It's not anywhere near some of these American variants that you can get. But nonetheless, very, very nice beer. Mm. But yeah, maybe there is just a little bit of citrus mixing in with the grassiness in the front of the tongue, but not very much at all. It is just the fruitiness that's in this beer is a little candied fruit. So I was getting a little bit 
of citrus and just a little bit of the tropical kind of red fruity ester coming out in the aroma but the beer tastes nothing like it smells actually but it's a very very mild aroma but I actually like this I think this would be a brilliant beer to try on cask the old pool cask it would come out really nicely on that but in terms of the mouthfeel of this one definitely mid-bodied smooth carbonation a little oily as well but there's some nice kind of smooth bready malt base to this one there's a little bit of sweetness too some caramel and a little bit of chocolate but mainly a kind of cereally and quite doughy bready character coming out of this there's a little bit of juicy character from the fruit but it's a very kind of mild candied red fruit ester and you do have a little bit of dryness that builds from the hops too a little bit floral and grassy around the front of the tongue but the earthiness at the back sides of the palate again is very very smooth so overall it's a very very nice beer i think to get the best out of this beer you have to have it on one of these pool casks because it's got a mouthfeel that would really suit it and i'm sure you get a little bit more sweetness out of it as well some of the more caramel and chocolatey flavors but overall very solid effort from box social brewing i would happily go and try some of their other beers on the basis of this one but it's a typical kind of um sort of new wave of english craft brewing it's a kind of it's a, it's a good sort of craft brown ale, if that makes sense. In England, you get the old school brown ales that are the more cereally ones, but this one is definitely moving more. It's kind of almost in between the English brown ale and the American brown ale. It has a bit more flavour than your typical English real ale beer, which is always good. The, the English real ales, I'm not a great fan of, but this one is really quite nice because it's somewhere in between those and the American brown ale. So yeah, you definitely want to go and check out this brewery. As I told you, they've got a good range of beer that you can choose. I'm sure if you just choose a style that you like, you will quite enjoy it. So do go and check them out. But I hope you've enjoyed this beer review. As always, let me know in the comment section below your own thoughts on this beer if you do happen to have tried it before. I thank you for watching my beer reviews. And until the next one, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Go and check out the social media things. And until the next one, I shall see you soon. And there's a lot more beer reviews to come. I think I've got another three in this North of England series. So I hope you're enjoying the series and I hope you enjoy the rest of them too. Slange just now and I'll catch you.